start recording? Okay, okay. I have started recording already and I am uh, trying for a uh, live. Can I start now live? Did you start the live? Okay, just. Okay, you can start now. Okay, great, thank you, sir. So, uh, hello everyone. Hello, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, because as you know, every one of us has his special country's time. So greetings uh, for everyone from Lebanon. So underrepresentation of young women in STEM education negatively affects their future career paths and results in countless missed opportunities for achievement and discovery in those fields. So for that reason, we uh, decided to create our own GMUN, the Global Model United Nations program uh, on the topic, increasing the involvement of young women in STEM fields, which are science, technology, engineering, and math. So yesterday we started out with our first training session and so we discussed the flow of debate which is the most important thing to know before uh, going to the MUN conference. Is my screen visible? Okay, so let's just have a quick revision of what we took yesterday. So we said that, okay, so we said that uh, MUN is the model of the United Nations. And as you know, that uh, the United Nations, is, uh, its career is to solve global issues. So every year it has about 192 countries in it. So every, every year or maybe every, uh, whenever we have a global issue, they have a conference and from every country there is a delegate representing this country and they start discussing this topic and subtopics of it everyone from his country's position and at last they uh, they try to find resolutions for this problem to curb it so you have to prepare speeches on the topic position paper and your public speaking we're gonna figure them all through the training sessions so here's the flow of debate, which is the most important thing. We start with a roll call. I start by, uh, whenever we start the conference, I start by calling you by your country's name. For example, you may be represent, you, even if you're from Romania, you may be representing, for example, Norway. So I say Norway, I, I say the countries in alphabetical order from A to Z. And uh, whenever I say your country's name, you have to say the delegate of blah, blah, blah is present. This means that at last, when we vote on the resolution, you can say uh, you can be with, against, or abstain. Abstain means you're not with or against the resolution. But if you say the delegate of blah, blah, blah is present and voting, then it's obligatory to vote with, with, or against when you vote on the resolutions. Then we move to speakers list. So the speakers list is a small speech. It should contain the country's position, your, the, countries, the country you are representing. You have to put its position uh, uh, from the topic. 
So uh, maybe maybe women are getting their full, full rights in your country. Maybe this is an extreme uh, problem in your country. So you have to put your country's position and what your country is doing uh, about this topic. Then we'll move to the moderated caucus. The moderated caucus is that we start discussing the subtopics. As we said yesterday, we have this large uh, topic, which is increasing the involvement of young women in STEM. So some top, uh, subtopics from it, we may talk about the history of uh, uh, women, in, women innovative creations. We may talk about uh, women in career guidance. We may talk about women in computer science, women in mathematics. It's we like we specified women in mathematics. We we may specify women in technology, okay? And uh, then we move to the unmoderated caucus, as we said yesterday. When we move to the unmoderated caucus in real MUN, you get up of, of your seats and you form a group with your allies. So as we said yesterday, that USA and Russia can't form a block together. Why? Because they are enemies in real life. So you have before this session, you have to search for your country's allies, the country you are representing, not the country your nationality from. Okay. So uh, uh, during this session, you have to send small notes to your allies, calling them to be in your group, and uh, those messages must uh, must go through uh, a specialist who must read them. In order, when we move to the unmoderated caucus, I will split you into rooms as you. Can see in in Zoom, we have breakout rooms where you and your group will be in a in a meeting alone. But I can I can join the meeting to help you, and you start writing the resolution paper. Maybe every one of you will give one resolution to the topic or two, maybe three. Okay, and then we close the debate and we vote on the resolutions. The conference will be on two days. If you didn't. For example, if you didn't have your chance to, to say your speakers list on this on the first day, of course, you will do on the second day. You have to split them. OK, not all of you will have the chance on the first day. And uh, the voting will be on, on the next day because the first day we will be working on the working paper and the next day you will uh, make it as a resolution. Now we will we'll see the difference between them. So here's we discussed also yesterday how to make a speech. We say you have to start with this phrase, honorable chair, fellow delegates. And then you have to start with a catchy hook. It may be definition, codes, statistics, and facts. And yesterday, some of the students said that if you can not start with a question, surely you can. But try not to, to have mysterious questions. And you know, ask a question, and then you have to, uh, of course, answer it. Then you have to include the country's position of this subtopic. You know, in the speaker's list, we talked about the country's position from the general topic. Now you put the country's position of this subtopic. Then you have to include recommendations from your mind, not Google, not research. You can come up with any recommendations. You can maybe one, two, three, as much as you Okay. Yes, so here's the sample of a draft. Yeah, as you can see here, those are, okay, as you can see here, those are the, the solutions and a draft resolution. They are detailed, as you can see. Look at requests. Implementing, I started with such a word I wrote in the in the slide before. Requests, call open, strongly recommends, recommends. Okay, so requests implementing telecommunication between distant locations, and it includes terminals for for ascensions, the network, computers, equipment, emphasis, blah blah blah. So so here. We went into details for this resolution. Okay, it's detailed. The third one, it's calls open campaigns to teach the people in the disconnected countries about the internet, the advantages and how to use the internet. So they will fight for the rights uh, of internet. As you can see here, I mentioned why I put this solution. So I said, uh, this group calls open campaigns to teach the people in the disconnected countries about the internet. 
why why this like to teach them the advantages and how to use the internet so they will fight for the rights of internet so when we teach them about uh, when we teach disconnected countries about such a right so they will know how to fight for this right okay so we put the the solution and we put why we are putting the solution so is there any question before we move to today's lesson just let me refer to the meeting please guys raise your hand if you if you do have any question let me see okay great there is no raised hands so it seems that you all got the lesson am i right okay so because you don't have any question i have a question for you i want one of you guys to remind us with the steps of the flow of debate please it's easy like we we explained them yesterday and we revised them also yesterday on the group and they sent them you uh, and i sent you videos and now we we just we had 20 minutes revising okay so i just need just one of you to remind us with the flow of debate try come on or do i choose one of you okay yeah now i see two raised hands uh, midha please uh, yeah and uh, zainab it's pronounced as midha okay yeah yeah i'm so, sorry i'm so sorry yeah not a problem so we start off by uh, mentioning honorable delegate uh, sorry honorable chair and delegates and then Just we move second, on dear you're you're telling us how to make a uh, how to make a speech i'm saying the flow of debate so we have to start with a roll call the chair start calling you by the countries you're presenting name and then we move into speakers list moderate blah blah, blah. do you remember them okay yeah yeah so yeah. we start with a roll call where you can either vote present uh, present absence or you can choose not to vote that would be press um one second just a second give me a second my net is kind of yeah yeah sure take your time yes okay look midha with the roll call when i say your country's name for example uh let's say that you are representing norway when i say norway you can say the delegate of norway is present when you say this that you are just present at the last of the conference when we vote on the resolutions you can be with the resolution against the resolution or abstain abstain is you're not with or against did you get it yes no i can't hear you dear okay but let let me continue but if you say the delegate of norway is present and voting then at last you have to be with or against the solutions you can't be abstained nida try nida try to uh open unmute yourself and say okay, can you hear me now yeah yeah i can hear you so okay, did you sorry. get it the roll call yeah 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 so please repeat for us the flow of debate yeah. yes so title. we start with a roll call where okay. countries can either vote i mean the delegates representing countries can either vote with or against that okay. is uh you can either vote so we say or present or, or present and voting okay we vote at last hello yes yes I, i'm hearing you but okay. i'm saying that you you don't vote i i mean if you say the delegate of norway is present this means that at last you can be with against or abstain but if you say present and voting at last you can be with or against you don't vote in the in the roll call okay you just say present or present and voting yes yes okay continue uh, then we have the speakers list 
yes. where people, where the delegates can start with their country's position on the topic. Right. Like uh, our topic is the role of women in STEM. And right. it should be a proper summary of the topic with uh, a few statistics. Then we move to moderated caucuses, which is basically discussing subtopics relevant to the main topic. Yes. Great. And then we have unmoderated caucuses, which are um, which are discussing resolutions, which are to be submitted at the end of the month session. Great, dear. And then we close the debate. And then we have the closing of the debate and the final Great. vote on resolutions, which is based on uh, the present or the present or the absence in the roll call. Yeah, so I need to hear a big clap for Midha, please. Please, guys, clap for her. She really deserves it. So as you can see, it's really, it's really easy when you when you get when you get the info, it's really easy. So I have another question for you, Darshan, because you're raising your hand. Please, Darshan, unmute yourself. Okay, Darshan, could you remind us of the way of making a speech? How do we um, make a speech? First of all, uh in the starting, we should uh, uh, we should start the speech by saying honorable chair and fellow delegates. Great. Then, then we can either use a catchy hook like a definition of the quote or say a question and then answer it. Or uh, we can say the fact or uh, fact and start uh, to attract the delegates to us so we can get words. Then we can start the main topic or the main course. So when we talk, then we end it with a thank you. Because for giving uh, us, the, uh, us the time to talk and uh, make uh, yeah, them. Great. OK, great. Thank you so much. I really love you. And I really like how you guys saving notes and writing notes down. And then you are referring to them. It's great to see that. Thank you so much, Darshan. So yeah, now I relieved. I I believe now that you my my you're getting what I'm saying. So let's move to the next lesson. It will be a piece of cake. I promise you. So let's move to another lesson for today, which is points and motion. So first, let's know what does allow us points and motion do. So points and motions are really important to allow us to communicate and to move through the flow of debate. For example, when uh, to move from a roll call to the speaker's list, we have to motion. There is something called motion. Now we will learn how to motion. And then to move from the speaker's list to a moderated caucus, we have to motion. And to, see, and to move from one subtopic to another, we have to motion. The motion is really important for MUN. Let's see what are our emotions. They're really, uh, they're easy, a piece of cake, but just you need to revise a bit here. You have to, to, to study them, okay? Or you can write them down and you, you can like have the paper during the conference, of, of course, okay? So let's start with the points. So we do have four points. Let's see them. First, let me start with the third one. It's the, the most, it's the easier one. So there is something called point of personal privilege. So it's raised when a, a delegate, of course, those points are and motions are raised, uh, are raised from a delegate, okay? So you are the delegate, you will raise those points by raising your hand. And when I say your country's name, you say them. So you say point of personal privilege. This can interrupt. So you can you can point this point by, by not raising your hand, okay? So a point of personal privilege is raised by a delegate when a delegate experiences personal discomfort. discomfort. For example, we may have a three hours of conference you may, I don't know, like, look, in the real MUN, uh, it's, uh, the conference is for two days, and a two day is eight hours long, okay? So we really need this, uh, this, uh, this point. For example, if you want to go to the toilet, 
you don't you don't say may I go to the toilet? No, you you say point of personal privilege. And when I say yes, you can say may I be excused? And then you can leave the meeting and return back. Okay, or you may you may want to I don't know you may want to do something you you feel discomfort so you raise this point. Is it clear? Guys, is this point clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Then we do have the point of information. So you raise your hand when I say your country's name. For example, let's say that Darshan is a delegate of, I want a country, a delegate of, um, let's say Romania. Like, I don't know, countries are not coming to my mind. So let's say Darsh, uh, Darshan, uh, a delegate of India. Okay. So when Darshan raises his hand, I say India, and then he can say point of information. And then he can ask a question. So what's the, the point of information? It's directed to other delegates. Okay. For example, I am a delegate of Lebanon. I said my speech and Darshan want to ask me uh, want to ask me a question regarding the speech that I said. So he raised a point of information. It's directed to other delegates, not to the chair, for the purposes of asking questions in relation to speeches and or draft resolutions. So maybe I I said something wrong, and Darshan know that this is wrong. He he asked for a point of information and asked me the question and tell me. For, and like, tell me, like, are you sure that this is right? Because I know that this is wrong. Or maybe I said something that it's not clear. So another delegate can ask me to, to clarify this, uh, th th this idea for him or her, okay? And then we have a point of inquiry. A point of inquiry is raised when a delegate has a question regarding the council proceedings. What is this? So if you are a delegate, and for example, you, you forgot the, uh, the flow of debate order, you may raise a point of inquiry and ask the chair a question regarding the meeting, regarding the council proceedings. For example, you may ask me about the speaker's list, about the moderated caucus, about the unmoderated caucus. You may ask me about, the, of course, you have like to prepare yourself, but uh, in case you forgot, you have to ask me, for example, what do we include in a speaker's list? Okay, so you raise your hand when I say the country, you say point of inquiry, and you ask the question. Okay, you have to say this point of inquiry, point of information, point of personal privilege. I'm going to send you this PowerPoint, guys, on the WhatsApp group. You may study them, you may write them down, do whatever you feel, you, like you feel free with. And the last one is point of order. It's also raised by a delegate to complain of improper usage of parliamentary procedure to the chair. So what I'm saying, it, it seems that's a difficult sentence. Look, I'm, I'm, I will be the chair. For example, if I did something wrong, regarding the procedure of the conference. For example, I skipped this speaker's list. Maybe I forgot. It's okay, I'm a human, I forget, I forgot, I, I forget. Okay, if I forgot the speaker's list and then we move to moderated caucus, you may raise a point of order. When I say, you may raise your hand. I say India or Norway, Romania, I don't know, any country. And you say point of order chair, for example, you skipped this speaker's list, okay? So you are correcting me if I did any improper usage of the procedure. If I, I skipped something, I did something wrong, it's, it should be, maybe I did something that's not diplomatic and you have to be diplomatic in the conference, okay? So the point of order is directed to the chair from the delegate. Is everything clear, guys? Yes, if yes. Using, I may repeat. Okay. Yes, Zainab, everything is clear. Okay, thank you so much. 
And of course, we will also revise this lesson tomorrow, but not the flow of debate again, because we, we studied it yesterday and we revised it today. So here are what the points that can interrupt. For example, there are some points that you can directly unmute yourself and say them, even if there's a delegate talking, okay? For example, if there's a delegate uh, telling you the speech and it's this point can be can interrupt, you may just unmute yourself and say it, okay? But there are some points that can't interrupt, so you have to wait until the delegate finishes or until the chair finishes his talking, and then you may raise your hand for it, okay? The points that can interrupt interrupt you can just open open sorry you can just directly open the mic and say them say them are the points of order if the chair did anything wrong you have to correct him you say point of order chair for example you skip this speaker's list and the point of personal privilege you may want to go and drink some water so you don't want the chair to call you and you're not here so you say point of personal privilege may i be excused you don't mention the reason, okay? You don't mention it. And then you go and, and then return back. And there are points that can't interrupt. You have to raise your hands for them and wait till the chair calls your country. For example, uh, a someone from Finland raised his hand, okay? When the, when the chair notices, he will say Finland. And then you say, you may say point of order or point of inquiry or point of information. Guys, you can see here that the point of order is repetitive and can interrupt and can't inter interrupt. So what's what's the story here? Look, the point in, of order can interrupt, but it's preferably not to interrupt in order not to use your diplomatic ways. So it's preferably to just let the, del the other delegate finish his speech and let the chair finish his motion and then you you raise your hand okay so it's always the best diplomatic way is to always raise your hand but if you're really uh, having a discomfort you may directly open the mic and uh, ask for a point of personal privilege and now let's take a deep breath before we go to the motion okay Am I going to uh, quick or is everything okay? I need an everything answer. Everything is clear. Okay, great. Everything is clear. Great to hear that. Okay, so now let's start with the verbal motions. From its word, it's verbal, so we may have another type of motion. But let's start with the motions. As we said at, this, at the beginning of this lesson, that motions let us to move from one, uh, from one part of the debate to another. So we can't move from the roll call to the speaker's list to the moderated caucus without a motion in between. So what are those motions? Look, when the conference starts, me as a chair, I will motion something. So I will say, the chair, uh, so I will say something that the house is now in order and the chair motions to start the debate. Are there any points or motions on the floor? Okay, and then you start raising your, ha raising your hand to motion. And when I call you by your country, you say the motion. Let's see, what are the motions? For example, you start motion to open the debate. May, uh, maybe I will say this if I didn't if I didn't open the debate you have delegates to raise your hand and open the debate I may choose just one of you okay so uh, any delegate must raise his hand or her hand when I say his country's name I will uh, he will say for example the delegate of fin or the delegate of Finland motions to open the debate and then the chair, if I see that this is appropriate and, and this is in its, uh, its correct place, I will say this, uh, I will say that this motion is in order 
and this motion clearly passes. Okay. Uh, look, guys, uh, just to, there is a tip for you. When a delegate motions a motion and you want it to also motion, motion this motion, you may say second, okay, without raising your hand. For example, for example, if the delegate of Finland said, the delegate of Finland motions to open the debate, and you all, of course, you all want to open the debate. So you directly say second, second, second. And when I hear a lot of seconds, I, I see that you all agree on this motion. So when you want to agree on a motion said by a delegate, you have to say second directly, not by raising your hand, okay? So, okay, uh, if, let's practice it now. I'm gonna say a motion. Uh, for example, let's say that I'm a delegate. And, you, and all the delegates who agree with me must say second directly, okay? The delegate of Lebanon motions to open the debate. Guys, where are you? Don't you want to open the debate? I need to hear second. Open and say second, second. I will repeat. Second. Second. Okay, great. Let's, let's repeat again. The delegate of Lebanon motions to establish the speaker's list for a speaker's time one minute. Second. 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 Okay. And by saying second, it means that you agree on my motion. Okay. And the chair when when and the chair when notices that you all agree on the motion, then the motion is direct directly passes. Okay. Because uh, in 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 the formal conference there are maybe 20 30 delegates okay so maybe each one uh, would have an like a different motion okay so if i say maybe i want to maybe in the moderated caucus i may motion to to discuss career guidance and maybe you want to discuss another subtopic so you don't say it second because you don't agree with me but on opening the debate, you have to all say second, okay? So let's repeat again for the last time. The delegate of Lebanon motions to open the debate. Second. 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 Okay, great. This motion, and then the chair says, this motion clearly passes, and now the debate is open. Now we open the debate. Let's go and start with the debate. Now, we of course. Can I ask you a question, please? Before. Yes, Hamad. So, if I don't agree with you, what do I say? Nothing. You say nothing. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's a great question. Actually, so if you I, say I that for just a minute and I want it for two minutes, what do I say? What? What? Repeat. If you say that every delegate should talk just for a minute and I want it to be two minutes, what do I say? No, you can't. Look, look, we're going. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, sorry guys. So when we open the debate, when we open the debate, we you have to all start motioning to move to the speaker's list because you all must have must be prepared. <laughs> I don't know how to talk. Because you all must be prepared. Must pre you may all have speakers list and you want to say them, of course, right? You have to all have a speakers list prepared. So everyone must have a motion for a speakers list. A speakers list have a time. So the motion for a speakers list you, you raise your hand, I say Finland, I say India, Norway, any country. You say the delegate of Norway motions to establish the speaker's list for speaker's time, blah, blah, blah. You have to mention a time for a speaker in the speaker's list, okay? So you may have a speaker's list uh, that, that should be just said for one minute, okay? That is one minute long. So you have to say the delegate of Norway motions to establish the speaker's list for speaker's time one minute. But, the, but there are uh, another raised hand. So I will also choose another motion, okay? I have to take like, 
as as many motions as I can, me as a chair, because you all want to motion. And this motion can differ from one person to another by the speaker's time. And then I say India. The, and you say the delegate of India motions to establish the speaker's list for speaker's time, one minute, 15 seconds. So as you can see here, the delegate of Finland said he wants the speaker's list for one minute, but the delegate of India wants it for one and 15 seconds. Okay, I may take another motion. It depends on the raised hand. Okay, the delegate of Norway motions to establish the speaker's list for speaker's time, two minutes. Okay, now the chair have three motions. And when I have more than one motion, you as delegate have to vote on the most disruptive motion. I say regarding the first motion for the delegate of Finland for establishing the speaker's list for a speaker's time one minute. All the delegates, all the delegates who wish to discuss the speaker's list for a speaker's time one minute, uh, yes, one minute, raise your hands. And then I see two just raise your hands, uh, just raise their hands. And two are just 10% of the delegates. So I say this motion clearly fails. So this motion failed. Okay, let's move to the next motion. Regarding, this is the chair's work. Regarding the motion of the delegate of India for speaker's time, one minute, 15 seconds, all the delegates willing to, uh, all the delegates willing to uh, discuss the speaker's list for this time, you may raise your hand. Okay, and I see now 10 raised their hand. I write 10. And then I say, for the last motion, that was said by the delegate of, what did I say? Norway, for a speaker's time, two minutes, all the delegates wishing to discuss for two minutes speaker's list, please raise your hand. And I see just eight raised their hands, but the one before 10 delegates raised their hand. So the second motion clearly passes. Did you get it guys? Hamad, did yeah. you get it? Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah, Still. So we it's have to. Yeah. So when we have more than emotion, okay. When we have more than emotion, we may vote. Okay. Because every yeah. every every delegate must must add a, a different time. So we have to agree on the most uh, voted motion. And then, okay, uh, for speaker's time, blah, blah, blah. And uh, all the delegates willing, I, I have to record all the, the delegates who will to speak for the speaker's list. They were 10 and I start calling them by their country's name. I say, Norway, uh, of course, the delegate who said the motion must start first. Uh, the, the motion of Finland passed, so the delegate, of Finland must start. He starts or she starts by the speaker's list. They finish and, okay, just a minute. Yeah, take your time, take your time, not a problem. I'm so sorry, but just because there's a lot of noises beside me, so I don't want to interrupt this lesson. Okay, so as uh, okay, so we go with the speakers list one by one. The ones I, the ones who want to, the ones who want to, who wish to walk, uh, to talk. Okay. And now we finished the speakers list. So delegates have to raise their hands again to motion to move to a moderated caucus. For example, let's say we finished the speaker's list and a delegate motioned to move to unmoderated caucus. Will this motion pass? Um, no, because moderated is before unmoderated. 
What did you say? Sorry, I, I didn't I didn't hear. I said no, it doesn't pass because the moderated is before the unmoderated. Great. So we have to move with respect of the order of the flow of debate. We can't put the unmoderated caucus before the moderated. No, we have to move with the order of the flow of debate. So whenever a delegate says uh, motions this motion, a chair says that this motion clearly fails because we do have a moderated caucus before it. And then another delegates, of course, are, are raising their hands. So I, I may choose one, two, three of them. The first delegate motions to uh, look. We have a general motions and we have a specific motions. For example, when we said here motions to open the debate, all the delegates, all the delegates must motion to open the debate. Of, of course, okay. So when just one of you motions to open the debate, you have all to say second. But in the speakers list, it's different because we have to specify time. So each delegate may have may have a different time. So in the speakers list, you can't say second. Okay. Each one must have his or her own speaker's time. So, and uh, this is similar to the moderated caucus. Before, before, before going to the moderated caucus, there is here a general, a general one. So, uh, one of you motions to suspend the rules to move to a moderated caucus to discuss. Now you have to put the subtopic you discussed, which we said before that the moderate. What are you doing? Mish, we said that the moderated caucus is discussing the subtopics. So you have to mention here, you have to mention here what subtopics are you willing to discuss? Okay, so I say the delegate of Lebanon motions to suspend the rules to move to a moderated caucus to discuss what uh, women's history and in a uh, woman's history in creating innovative creations for speakers time one minute and total time seven minutes what did i just say this motion includes a lot of debate a, a lot of details okay let's let's split this motion when we the delegate of lebanon motions to suspend the rules still here so i say I am I am motioning here that, that okay we we finished the speakers list we want to move to the moderated caucus great till here to discuss to discuss and then I have to select the subtopic I want to start with maybe you have 10 subtopics 10 speeches maybe you have 15 you choose one of them one of them to start with okay and then you have to specify a speaker's time for Yani, each speaker is allowed, um, each speaker have just one minute to finish his, his speech. And the total time, which is seven minutes, is for all the delegates. If everyone, if, if we have seven minutes and everyone must have, every speaker must have a one minute, then how many delegates should the chair choose? Seven. Great, seven because the total time is seven and everyone must have every speaker must have just one minute so when when a delegate of lebanon said this okay i the chair may take another may take another motion maybe the delegate of guys give me any country uh yani rather than the countries i gave examples on because like i feel now they're born. Japan. What? Japan. Okay, great. Japan. Now, I, I give the right to the delegate of Japan to motion his motion because I see he's raising or her raising his hand. His or her hand. So they say the delegate of Japan motion to suspend the rules to move to a moderated caucus to discuss career guidance. For speaker's time, one minute, 15 seconds, and total time, 10 minutes. 
Is this motion similar to the one before? Guys, is this motion similar to the one before? Look, the motion no. before, yeah, the motion before we, the delegate of Lebanon motioned to discuss uh, the history of women, uh, of women's innovative creations. But the delegate of Japan motioned to discuss career guidance. So they are opposite, okay? This is a motion and this is another motion. And they also differ with the speaker's time and with the total time. So the, the first delegate said the speaker's time is one minute. The other one said he wants it for one 15 seconds. And the total time for the first one is seven and the second one is 10. Okay, so they are different. So when the chair took those two motions, maybe they are no more raised hands. So, okay, we start voting on the motion. I say me as a chair says regarding the motion that the delegate of Lebanon motioned on discussing the history of women innovative creations for speakers time one minute and total time seven minutes all or the delegates who are willing to who are willing to discuss the subtopic please raise your hand and then I see 10 raised their hands okay so I put 10. I put 10 beside me and then I say regarding the second motion uh, from the delegate of Japan for discussing career guidance for speaker's time one minute 15 seconds and total time 10 minutes all the delegates who wish to discuss this topic uh, this subtopic please raise your hand and I see seven raise their topic uh, raise their hand so which motion passes? The first or the second? The first. Great. The first. Yeah, great. Why? Because the first is the most disruptive. The first took the highest votes. Okay? So the first clearly passes. And then I I have to write down all, all the delegates who wish to, uh, to talk on this subtopic. And as we said, uh, one minute for speaker's time and seven minutes for total time. So I just need seven delegates. And when we finish this subtopic, the moderated caucus, it's a big, it's a big part because you prepared a lot of subtopics. So you may have another subtopics to discuss. We finished the subtopic and then the chair sir, says, me as a chair, I say, delegates, are there any motions? Are there any points or motions on the floor? And then you again, maybe another delegate, raise their hand and motion for another subtopics. Maybe now they can motion on to discuss women in computer science, women in technology. Okay. So in moderated caucus on the first day before the before going into groups, we may discuss three uh, subtopics. We may discuss four, five, as much as you're active as and as much as you are in the moderated caucus. Now let's say that, okay, now we are bored of discussing subtopics. We discussed five subtopics. We need to start finding resolutions. So now one of you, or maybe the chair, if the chair feels that the moderated caucus took too long, I may say delegate the, uh, the chair motions to suspend, to suspend the meeting of total time 15 minutes. When I say this motion, this means that I'm calling for unmoderated caucus. Okay, so so you start. If I didn't say this, and you feel that we should move to unmoderated caucus, of course you may raise your hand. When I say, are there any points or motions on the floor? You raise your hand, and you say the delegate. You may say. The delegate of Africa motions to suspend the meeting of total time 15 minutes. This motion, uh, this motion refers to the unmoderated caucus. Okay, then if I hear many seconds from the delegates, I say that this motion clearly passes. 
but another delegate may have the same motion but in different total time for example the delegate of germany motions the delegate of germany motions to suspend the meeting of total time 20 minutes the delegate of africa motions to to, to move, motion this one for 15 minutes but the delegate of germany wanted it for 20 minutes so and then we vote i say regarding the regarding the motion of the delegate of africa who wants to who wants the unmoderated caucus for 15 minutes all the delegates who wish uh, or the delegates who agree with this motion raise your hand maybe three raise their hands okay i say that this motion clearly fails why because the three is really below 50 percent of the speakers of the delegates the motion in order the motion to pass 50 percent of the delegates plus one must motion to clearly pass this with the motion okay and then i say regarding the second the first one failed okay it, it won i say regarding the second motion from the delegate of germany for to move to moderate to unmoderated caucus for a total time 20 minutes all the delegates who agree with this motion raise your hand so i see 12 raise their hands so i say this motion clearly passes delegate and now you will be in a breakout rooms and then i put you in rooms with your allies to start discussing the resolution okay so let's say the 20 minutes passed so the chair directly uh, cut the rooms and uh, and return you to the meeting so now you're back in the meeting one of you must motion to discuss the draft resolution as we said last time you may be four groups each group must have a draft resolution and a resolution paper okay you wrote it maybe on a paper you may wrote it in, on a word the uh, on a word document okay when you motion this and each one from each group must uh, say to all the delegates what did they discuss during those 20 minutes during those unmoderated caucus 20 minutes okay guys is everything clear yes yes okay. great we may repeat this tomorrow and i will send you more a uh, much easier forms on the group yes uh tojana you're raising your hand do you have any question dear okay uh, Rukaya, yes you have a question if the emotions have equal votes what uh, what will happen equal votes yeah this is a great question if the if the two or maybe three motions have equal votes then we may ask for a third motion so i say are there any other motions or points on the floor and another delegate must must motion another motion okay not the delegates who motion those motion or those motions no other delegates okay you guys you all have to be to, to to motion you have all to motion because as you know there are three awards that we have the best position paper award we have the diplomacy award and the best delegate award so every time i say are there any points or motions on the floor all the delegates must raise their hand especially on the first two on opening the debate on, on the speakers list okay and then the rest okay it's okay to just have the only half of the delegates raising motions that was a great question Rukaya. thank you so much thank you very much and now okay we discussed the draft resolution now all the delegates know uh, know uh, what did other delegates prepare resolutions and now when we when we finished one of you guys or maybe the chair if he feels or she feels we motion to close the debate and move into voting procedure look in the first day we will not vote because on the first day you will only pre prepare the working paper so when we finish and when we 
discuss the working paper, one of you, or maybe me, the chair, will motion to adjourn the meeting for tomorrow. So we want to stop the meeting and, and postpone it for tomorrow because like it's we've been two hours discussing and telling speeches and working real hard and now we're tired, we want to continue today. And tomorrow, the second day, uh, also we may start with the speakers list for the delegates who, are, who didn't say their speakers list in, on the first day. They may be two, three, I don't know, but of course they will be, they won't be, uh, uh, the number won't be as the, the first day, they, they must be, they must decrease. And then we may of course like follow the debate, move with the flow of the debate. Then we, uh, then we move to moderated caucus. We discuss some new subtopics we didn't discuss the day before, because as we said, that we, do, we may have 15 subtopics. So you have to prepare 15 speeches or maybe 10 speeches, okay? So of course we won't discuss them all on the first day. You leave some for the next day. And then again, we move into unmoderated caucus, but this time we have the working paper. We have to transfer it into draft, into a resolution paper. Be, at the beginning of the meeting, I told you the difference between working paper and a resolution paper. With working paper, you only write the resolutions as bullet points, but the, the resolution paper, you write the solutions in detail, in detail, okay? You write the resolution and why are you putting this pollution, uh, this pollution, <laughs> this resolution, okay? And now the, in the second day, you vote, you start voting. And I say, for example, on we may have four resolution papers. I say that, of course, uh, each one of, of the group will say the resolution, will read the resolution paper they prepared. So you must all write down the resolutions. Do you agree with them? If yes, write down with. If no, write down against. And, and the same thing for the rest. And I start delegate. Uh, I motion, uh, I, you don't say I. The chair motions to move into voting procedure. All the delegates uh, must start voting on the first resolution paper. And I start calling you all by your country's name. I say, for example, Norway. Norway, if Norway, the first day said present, uh, he or she may say with, against, or abstain. If he or she said present and voting, he or she must say with or against. Okay, and then I move on with all the delegates. Norway said with, maybe Africa said against, Germany said with, uh, and blah, 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 okay? To all the delegates. And then uh, I move to, 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 the, to the next resolution paper, the third and the last, okay? But we may have just the three resolution papers, or maybe you may just form two groups, okay? Which will be much more easier. I because I will see the number of delegates. Maybe if I had just 17 delegates in the conference, then I say that we may have just two uh, groups. Okay. So we will have just two resolution papers, and this will be much easier. And when we vote, so we close the conference, we will end, uh, we will finish the model United Nations. And uh, in the second day conference, I will, of course, uh, distribute for you the three hours and all the delegates who participated will, of course, have an appreciation certificate. Okay, there are still some written motions. I think we may uh, just leave them for tomorrow because today we discussed a lot of information and a lot of ideas so i don't want to distract you okay for question of course tomorrow i will repeat this lesson the points and motion and i will send the powerpoint to you on the group you may write them down or you may memorize them or you may save them uh, to your phone 
And now, guys, or who, any one of you, uh, it's time for questions. So please raise your hand if you do have any, any question regarding the lesson we took, okay? So I see a raised hand. Azra, please ask. The floor is yours. Okay, so in relation to our program today, when will be our next session? Is it going to be tomorrow? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, dear, you're asking about the training sessions, right? Yes. Yeah, of course, the training sessions will be uh, the day after day. So we started on nine. There are five sessions. Maybe I will need uh, one more, but for, for for this time, we are having five sessions, five training sessions. We started on 9 October yesterday to 13. So yesterday we had a session. Today we're having a session. Tomorrow, after tomorrow, and on 13, we'll have the last session. Okay, dear? The same link and the same time. Okay, guys, do you have okay. any other questions? No Okay, guys, just be, uh, I will send to you a registration link. Please fill the form because all the delegates who will, uh, only the delegates who will uh, be in all the training sessions will uh, receive a certificate of participation in the training sessions. So I will send you now the form. Please all, before you leave, uh, fill this form. Just a minute. I'm sending it. And guys, yeah, I'm still waiting. If you have any question, you can surely ask. And if you if you don't have now, if you have uh, when we are off the meeting, of course, you can always ask on the group or you can ask me in box. I will surely answer. Okay, guys, so the link is in the chat box. Please all fill it before you leave to assure your to assure your right to receive a participation certificate. And now I believe we reached the we reached the end of our meeting for today. I want to thank you all for, for being present here and for attending the meeting. Thank you so much. And if